Bobby Pierce, Brian Shirley battling for not just five grand, but an extra two grand tonight for the weekly point fun off of corner number four. Coming to green, it's Pierce and Shirley. And a one and two. Pierce on the inside. Shirley with a run on the outside. Down the back, straight away. Bobby Pierce and Shirley have company. Here, here, here comes Bab. Bab trying to make it three wide, but the caution is out. Turn number two, Jeff Roth. Jeff Roth around to turn number two in the number 14R. Oh, my. Right when it was getting good, Bab was looking to the inside to make it a three-car battle for the lead. Jeff Roth around to turn number two. For round 16 for the Dirt Car Summer Nationals. How about eight Dirt Car Summer National Championships here in the front row? Pearson Shirley leads us off of four. Down the back straightaway, Shirley once again with that big run off of corner number two. And how about Peyton Freeman? Got a way better start that time. He'll keep Bab behind him off of corner number four. It's Pierce, Shirley, Freeman, your top three. Jason Vega, Shannon Bab, and Jake Little follow behind them. Down the back straightaway, it's going to be Pierce, Shirley, Fager, and Freeman battling it out for the third position. Fager on the outside, Freeman on the inside. Here comes Shannon Bab with Billy Moyer Jr. Down the front straightaway, still the 32 of Pierce showing the way. Freeman to the inside of Fager. That's the battle for Third, they'll go side by side down the back straight away. Jason Fager, third, Freeman, fourth, Shannon Babb still fifth. Off of turn number four, Fager now going to go to the outside in 25, and Jason Fager tries to take second away from Brian Shirley. Fager with a run off of corner number two. He'll pull alongside the three. S of Shirley. He'll get around him, but Shirley looks good on the bottom of three and four. Will he answer the phone call? The question is no. Jason Fager to second and 25. Bobby Pierce on the bottom and Jason Fager on the outside. Pierce leaves the door open. And oh my, now Pierce being told to go to the top side, and he does. Fager to the inside. Battle for the lead off of corner number four. Jason Fager at the line. Can't quite get it done this time by. It's still the 32 of Bobby Pierce. Pierce on the outside. Slides way high. Then a Allows Fager to pull to his inside. Side by side for the lead for the blink of an eye there. Off of corner number four. Bobby Pierce hanging on here in 32. Jason Fager looking to his outside. Down the back straight away. Freeman and Shirley battle for third. And here comes Jason Fager. He's going to get it wound up on the outside. Pierce card did not look good on the outside. So he goes back to the bottom of the speedway. Jason Fager has the outside open. They're door to door for the lead at the line. Jason Fager to the outside. To the lead. No. Has to slam on the brakes as the left car's in front of him. Off of corner number four. This time by Pierce. Hanging onto it on the bottom. Slides up off of corner number four. Fager going to have to do it all over again. As now Pierce going to go to the outside of the speedway here at Lincoln. 25 of Fager still second with the three as a Shirley, the F1 of Peyton Freeman, and the 18 of Shannon Babb in the top five. Off the corner number four this time. Pierce now going to get rolling on the outside for a second there. Pierce tried that outside groove when Fager was knocking on the door, but that car just did not look good up there. Now Pierce able to put that car up there and looking very fluent here in 32. The 25 of Fager still second, Shirley in third. Fourth is a good battle, three-car battle for fourth. Peyton Freeman holds off Unzicker and Bam for the fourth position. As now Unzicker to the inside of Freeman. They'll go side by side down the back. Shortway. Ryan Unzicker up to the fourth position. Peyton Freeman follows with the 18 of Shannon Bab Off of corner number four this time by Ryan Unzicker to fourth. Here comes the 24. The El Paso Express is on rails here as he's going to try to reel in the three. As a Shirley down the back straightaway. Down the back straightaway. Pierce will get around the 31 of Stubber and put him in between it. Fager and himself. As Pierce drives away with it down the front straight away, Fager still in second. Shirley in third with a 24 of Unzicker in the top four, and Shannon Babb still in fifth. Off the corner number four, this time by the 32 of Bobby Pierce looking smooth around the bottom here in 32. Fager second, Shirley goes three wide. There with Unzicker and the 26 of them, McKinnon. McKinnon the lap down, but Ryan Unzicker to third down the back straight away in 24. So Ryan Unzicker now going to get around the three S of Shirley off of turn number four. Ryan Unzicker on the move. Well, the bottom is the place to be here tonight at Lincoln. Off of corner number four. 14 laps to go for the 32 of Bobby Pierce. Ryan Unzicker now will take second at the line. Ryan Unzicker may have the fastest race car here as Ryan Unzicker going to take second from Jason Fager. Here comes the 24 down the back straightaway. Fager going to go back to his outside. Side by side for second with Paul Stubber in front of him. Stubber's on the bottom. That's going to slow down the 24. So Jason Fager able to hang on to second at the line as he'll get around him on the outside off of corner number two. 
Unzicker still there on the bottom. Fager able to take second away. Unzicker has to give here as he'll go to the bottom and actually manages to make room. Not sure how, but gets around the 31 of Stubber and now going to go back to the inside of Chase and Fager and he'll take second down the back straight away. As the 32 appears now has heavy lap traffic. Four cars in front of him, but he will get around him as Michael Quinn and the caution is out for Tegan Evans. Tegan Evans, the young lady out of Iowa. Off the pace, down the back, straight away in the number T22. So Tegan Evans will head to the pit area. Green flag in the air. Bobby Pierce leads us here with 10 laps to go. Fager going to go to the outside. Will he get the run off of corner number two? Unzicker to his inside. They'll battle for second off of corner number four this time. Babb has joined the party off of corner number four, the 18. Looking for second down the front straight away. It's still the 32 of Pierce. Jason Fager on the outside of the 24 of Unzicker in the 18 of Babb. Three car battle for second. Down the back straight away. Here comes the 25 of Fager on the outside now. Pierce on the bottom. Babb going to tag along down the front straight away. Eight laps to go as Bobby Pierce shows the way. The 25 of Fager has the outside open. Here comes Unzicker and the 18 of Shannon Babb. Jake Little going to challenge the three. That's a Shirley for the top five. Down the front straight away. Three wide for the lead. Jason Fager around the middle. Bobby Pierce in the outside. And oh boy, Ryan Unzicker with the lead down the back straight away as the crowd goes wild for the 24. Off a of corner number four. Unzicker sideways. Off a of turn four. Caution is out around the speedway. Caution is out. Unzicker around in three and four. As Bobby Pierce will be charged with the caution. Off a of corner number four. The gloves are on. Seven to go here at Lincoln. Jason Fager absolutely hungry for a win. Flat tires, fuel problems have all been a challenge for that team. When he's been running good, and off a of corner number four, Fager leads us here with six laps to go. Shirley and Babb battle it out there for the second position. Down the back straight away, Shannon Babb has second. And now the bottom is open for Babb as Fager runs the outside. Off a of corner number four, we know the bottom is good. Shannon Babb going to close in down the front straight away. Babb, oh my, has a left front up in the air. Down the back straight away. This is probably the best race this year for the Dirt Car Summer Nationals. Off a of corner number four, Fager. This time has four laps to go. And down the back straight away. Babb going to able to close in. Off a of corner number four, two laps to go. The high side hustler living to his nickname, but the bottom is open and Shannon Babb closing in with two laps to go. Battle for the lead. Here comes the Moequa Missile, Shannon Babb. He's going to go to the inside of him, battle for the lead. Off a of corner number four, white flag in the air, one to go for Jason Fager. Michael Quinn on the bottom, Shannon Babb has a run. He'll take the lead in turn number two, down the back straight away. Shannon Babb, Jason Fager, wheel to wheel off a of corner number four. Michael Quinn on the bottom, off a of turn four. Jason Fager wins here tonight in 25. Shannon Babb gets second, Brian Shirley third. Billy Moyer Jr. and Jake Little. What a dynamite feature here tonight at the Lincoln Speedway. Race fans, your feature winner, the high side hustler, Jason Fager. Oh, and he's fired up. Heather DeBoe, this is going to be one hell of an interview. Down to you. What a race, Ruben. Jason, we talked earlier, and I know I talked to your crew guy, Jason, over there. Jason and Jason show tonight. You guys have had a little bit of a monkey on your back with bad luck. Today was the day you finally were able to get that away from you. I know he's pumped. You have to tell us the feelings you're going through right now. Uh, honestly, it's just relief. Uh, I feel like we've had a car pretty much fast enough to win almost every single night. And for whatever reason, we haven't been able to get it done. We've had a lot of bad luck. And uh, but we've been really fast. And we just keep working hard. And I uh, can't thank my guys enough that stuck by me. And uh, finally feels good to pay off. Uh, I got to thank Bob there. He ran me pretty clean. I, he, he was open for a slider there, and he didn't take it. And uh, Appreciate that, but man, it was a heck of a race. I don't know. I got in a lap car pretty good there with the right rear after that first time I passed Bobby and let him get the lead back. And I don't know if the tires are going down or what, but it just, it never ever been a shock or something, but it never felt the same after that. I was definitely struggling um, to hold on, but uh, there was enough cushion there to make it work and uh, just uh, luckily it paid off. They were signaling to you to go to the bottom. Is that why you couldn't get down there? 
Yeah, I mean, before, early in the race, I felt like I was good. And after I hit that lap car, I just, whatever reason, I couldn't get scotched up and have any traction off. So I don't know what happened, but I knew I was just, I didn't think I had a chance down there. I figured I would have just slid out. I kept sliding and not tractioned up. So I just I figured the only chance I had was to be able to protect the slider and, and run that cushion. And you guys put on a great show in front of this crowd. Talk about getting a win in front of these guys here tonight. Yeah, you know, we've won some races here, but it's been quite a while, but it uh, feels good. I always got a ton of fans here real close to the house. And uh, thank everybody for coming out and uh, spending the 4th of July weekend with us. And uh, awesome to all, have all the support and all these fans here. And we're going to go drink some beer and finish this weekend off right. Well, congratulations on the win. Jason Fager, your win. Your winner here tonight.